Wow, T7M Radio, this is the best of seven sports talk with Seven Mitchell. I just woke up and crossed my radar on some breaking news coming out of Dallas. The Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo leaving football, going into broadcasting, even with Dallas planning to release him today. This is according to league sources at ESPN. Tony Romo received interest from CBS, Fox, NBC. Tony Romo can choose to be a color commentator wherever he wants. This move can come as early as today. This is unbelievable. I did not expect to see this one happening so early. I really thought they was going to keep Romo. Wow. Now, the Cowboys is expected to designate Romo a post drink. This is crazy. Wow. Unreal, Tony Romo retiring from football for broadcasting. Now, Tony Romo's decision came down to his health, according to sources. Turning 37 years old, uh, April 21st. Wow, we got the same birthday. Jesus. Turning 37 years old, Tony Romo believes that his family and his health are more paramount at this time than his life overall with the football. Tony Romo will get to spend more time with his family while still retaining a strong connection to the game that he loves. So I guess that's good that Tony Romo doesn't have to really step away totally from the sport. But, um, man. So Romo really will no longer be consideration for the Houston Texans and the Denver Broncos, not unless he was unexpectedly write another chapter in his book and come back to play football. So for the Broncos, Trevor Simeon, Paxton Lynch, they're going to be competing for the Broncos starting job. And without Romo, the Texans, Tom Savage now is expected to probably be their starting quarterback. Brandon Wheaton, uh, former Cowboys quarterback, is actually a backup out there in Texas as well. So Tony Romo's transition to TV people is going to finish off one of the greatest undrafted free agent stories in NFL history. If you don't remember back in 2003, Romo had bypassed the largest signing bonus from the Broncos to join the Cowboys out of Eastern Illinois. First full season as a start in 2007, Tony Romo threw for a then franchise record 4,211 yards. A mark he was set twice more in his career and a franchise record 36 touchdowns. Tony Romo was the real deal. I know we had a, a, a guy that just couldn't get the job done. Sometimes we call it an accident waiting to happen. Overall, I thought Tony Romo was dope. Career record 78-49. He was never able to get the Cowboys past the divisional round in the playoffs and four playoff appearances. That definitely was the biggest um, X or the biggest red mark on his resume was just the postseason appearances and, and the production. 34,183 yards and 248 touchdowns are the most in team history. So shout out to Tony Romo. You knew it was coming to an end. I didn't expect him to announce the retirement due to broadcasting, but still a good look. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Tony Romo, done in Dallas, retired from the NFL, will become a broadcaster. Drop y'all comments, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. T7M Radio, this is the best of seven sports talk. 7 Mitchell, weekday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. Let me know what y'all think, man. Drop y'all comments. We out of here. Peace. Best of seven sports talk. With Seven Mitchell, on T7M Radio, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102, and, follow us on social media, T7M Radio on, YouTube.